Okay, good morning everyone. My name is Ayman Gabala. I'm a pre-sales manager for Ingram Micro Meta Region for the RPA in AI and IoT. Uh, today we have a very interesting topic uh, with uh, very interesting team members, uh, Joseph and Khaled. They are pre-sales professionals for RPA and specialized in UiPath. Today, we wanted to do like a monthly meetup with uh, with all of you to give you the new updates about UiPath and tell you more about Ingram Micro team and how you can reach us and how we will support you uh, in in your opportunities and your in your leads. Uh, so I want to give you a quick brief about Ingram Micro and the new setup with UiPath and how we can support you and and how the team in meta region look like so uh this is uh exactly how uh, how the team in, in specialized or responsible for the rpa mainly uipath in the region look like we have a dedicated sales team in countries um, covering the whole region from case a in egypt in uh, in the gulf ue and uh, north africa in uh, covering the whole uh, region and as well there is a pre-sales support to support you and we have the team members or the, the pre-sales professionals with, with us in the call will take you through the presentation uh, to give you the support in your uh, technical uh, inquiries and any support related to uh, POCs required or demos or any other technical support that you will need in your sales cycle and uh, uh, in, in the back office, we have the support for, from the operations and the logistics and the finance team who are supporting the order placement uh, and the whole logistics uh, between uh, your company and Ingram Micro to, to ensure a very smooth order placing and receiving the licenses and all the, uh, uh, the, the solution proposed. Uh, so, uh, uh, going to the, uh, the, uh, the presentation today, we will take you through some of the latest updates from UiPath to get to know what is new and what is recently released and, uh, and the, new the new platform and what are the, the top features and the themes that will definitely impact your uh, proposition to your customers. Uh, and definitely bringing a huge value uh, to your solution and to the RPA uh, assessment and the proposition at the end. Uh, so uh, uh, I will hand the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the talk to uh, my colleague Khaled. He will start taking you into details to what you will discover today about UiPath and the new updates to you, Khaled. Thank you very much, Ayman. So hello, everybody. Uh, First of all, uh, let's set the stage and talk about the new pheno phenomena in the RPA field, which is the hyper automation. Uh, hyper automation is the next level of automation combining the traditional RPA sitting in the core of automation uh, with other uh, AI and machine learning features uh, that augments the workers in a way that make it more impactful for a business uh, due to its power. Uh, it's more uh, powerful than the traditional RPA and the traditional uh, automation that many enterprises use since the early days. Uh, UiPath inherited the uh, hyper automation since it's early, since it early start, started, uh, making it uh, or letting it having an edge in the market in that field uh, and exceeds client's expectation from the automation perspective. Uh, RPA always seemed to have amazing part. Uh, which can be covered in the in the user guide manual uh, and updated. Uh, but my understanding is that uh, the the model documentation. Excuse me. Can you please uh, mute uh, from your side? Uh, anyone is not uh, muted. Or, is there a question or? Okay. Uh, I will continue. Okay. So uh, as I have said. Um, the traditional RPA always seem to have uh, a missing part uh, 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 that makes it more robust and dynamic. So the AI and the machine learning features uh, came in to complete this uh, this image, 
uh, and make it it now what's called hyper automation or uh, intelligent automation as some people say uh, the accommodation of AI skills to the automation made it possible for the bots now to detect objects and patterns on a screen uh, using AI and machine learning and natural language processing, computer vision and OCR, uh, making it more efficient and require less human interaction. It also made the long running workflows more efficient and possible to get automated thanks to the technologies in the back end that made processes wait for certain uh, inputs and thresholds to, uh, to happen. Uh, and take place before continuing uh, on an, automa an automation process, which is very long. Uh, the hyper automation also made use of the process mining, the, uh, which uh, which detects uh, the processes in, in an organization. Uh, make, uh, so uh, manage, uh, managers could uh, like improve these processes or automate them or yeah, take educated educated guesses uh, or uh, educated decisions uh, on automating them or uh, enhancing them. UiPath added more native integrations to its platform that we are going to see uh, in a bit, uh, making it uh, more powerful and require less and less screen interactions. Next, uh, we are going to see the, uh, the key themes. So uh, here, I just want to know uh, to like uh, to demonstrate why does UiPath always make new releases and upgrades? So that's because uh, automation is becoming uh, a crucial component in any enterprise digital transformation stack. Uh, the current release, the 21.4, uh, delivers a host of exciting new features and products that extends the capabilities along the lines of the following. In enterprise scale management and governance of your automation program, AI-powered discovery, prioritization, and integrated development of the most impactful automations, upgrades for all user experiences, and rapid expansion of automation cloud capabilities. UiPath 2021 highlights are as following. Uh, turning vision into reality by releasing launch, uh, and launching nine new products into their portfolio, expanding their addressable market by launching test automation and process mining, uh, launching the automation cloud, which is the fastest growing new business line, and adding uh, more uh, native integrations uh, by uh, partner partnering with many third party applications and products, like for example, Workato, Oracle, uh, Salesforce, AWS, and many more, as you can see here in the right side. Uh, now we're going to uh, discuss the pillars or how, how UiPath uh, tackled all the, the automation uh, life cycle. So it created a, a framework that, uh, the, uh, a framework for itself, dividing the, all the automation life cycle into five important pillars as shown in the diagram, the discover, build, manage, run and engage pillar. Uh, now we are going to discuss each pillar on its own and, uh, we, and discuss all the new features and products in the upcoming slides. As you can see here, uh, this is a helicopter view of all the uh, updates uh, of the uh, current uh, and the previous uh, products that has been uh, released in the previous versions. Uh, and uh, as you can see here, the Discover pillar has a new product, which is the task mining. Uh, we are going to uh, talk about that in, uh, in a second. So let's tackle each pillar on its own. First, let's uh, tackle the Discover pillar and talk about it, uh, all its uh, new features and uh, updates. So uh, I'm going to start with Automation Hub. To, uh, so briefly, Automation Hub is a, uh, is a tool that collects pit and pitches uh, automation ideas, its flowcharts, and the automation ideas descriptions and even automation modules from an uh, organization and puts uh, all of that into one place. Uh, people or employees could uh, sign in and interact with these components on its own uh, and discuss the importance of the ideas that gets posted on the automation hub. Uh, the automation uh, ideas then get ju gets judged uh, according to some KPIs and measurements uh, in the uh, back end of the automation hub uh, that prioritize these ideas 
to receive the correct uh, and needed resources to uh, continue, continue on developing these automations and executing it. Uh, the automation hub is the pinnacle of the discovery phase uh, as it has the basics of, uh, of the dynamics of process intake and identification. And it is where other applications funnel down to at the end in the discovery phase. The update that it received in 21.4 is that it now has cloud service enabling multi-tenancy. Next, we have the process mining uh, to, uh, tool or product. Uh, briefly, uh, the process mining tool is the tool that detects all the process uh, processes, uh, exceptions and uh, routes in an organization and uh, gives it a score. Uh, and uh, according to some metrics and KPIs, uh, making uh, 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 managers take uh, like uh, educated decisions on uh, how the process uh, on enhancing the processes or taking decisions on automating them according to the, uh, the possibility of automation. Uh, so the process mining feeds on the back end of the system uh, is a back end system of the applications that uh, that runs in an organization to extract the data needed to build some insights uh, and uh, measurements as i've said uh, to demonstrate to the manager uh, managers in an organization uh, in the 21.4 release discovery accelerators uh, for procure to pay and order to cash are now added along uh, with the automation hub and task capture uh, integration, of course. Uh, next, uh, uh, the next tool in the discover pillar is the task mining tool. Uh, as I have said uh, a, a couple of slides before, it's a new, pro a new product in the discover pillar in UiPath. So uh, this, the uh, task, uh, task mining uh, tool is a tool that detects the automation in a, in a process. So in the last slide, we talked about how a process mining uh, detects the processes in an organization. So now task mining detects the applications that gets uh, used in a, in a certain process. It also builds uh, a diagram according to the order of uh, the order of the application get, that gets used in a process. It also uh, puts numbers which is like measurements and how important this uh, uh, this application and how how frequently this application has been visited uh, <clears throat> it also uh, draws this diagram as you can see here uh, uh, it draws this diagram as you can see here in the, uh, that can be demonstrated for managers or the coe that a task mining is a uh, is a tool that sits on the user desktop and record all that uh, all the applications and actions taken within these actions. It of course uses AI and machine learning uh, te uh, techniques uh, to detect these uh, these applications and actions and eliminates the unwanted actions that has been taken uh, by the users in his day to day job. So that was for the task mining. Next, uh, I'm gonna uh, tackle the last but not least, of course, tool in the discover pillar, which is the task capture. So task capture is a tool that records actions taken for a, a specific process by, uh, so uh, a user will just click on a, a button uh, on his uh, uh, desktop that, that, uh, that will record all the actions that has been taken uh, in a process. Uh, it will then create a XAML file that can be executed in the future in, a, uh, in, a, in the studio, the UiPath studio. And then um, uh, or, uh, so, uh, along with the XAML file, it can also create a, a Word document file that has the, all the description and screenshots of all actions that has been taken inside uh, the, uh, the the task or the inside the process while the user has been was was recording uh, uh, and uh, last thing i want to add about task capture is that it is a part of the automation hub license so uh, if you uh, purchase the, this license the automation hub license you will take task capture uh, with it
So that was for the uh, discover pillar. Next, I'm gonna uh, tackle the build pillar. Uh, the build pillar is where everything gets developed. So uh, the, the developing of the automations gets done on one of the studio family. So uh, you have three options, the Studio X for business users, Studio for RPE users, uh, for uh, RPE developers, I'm sorry, and uh, Studio Pro for specialized developers. Uh, each of these products had received a bunch of features and updates in the 21.4 release. Uh, for example, Studio, uh, the Studio, uh, uh, which is for the business users, has now improved support for Office productivity apps and table extraction features. It now has uh, to, uh, the Studio for RPA developers has automation testing for all developers. Uh, new integrations uh, uh, like, uh, for example, Workato and Tableau and Oracle eBusiness Suite. <clears throat> also, we have a data, a data manager to define custom document understanding machine learning models and continuous uh, retraining for improvement over time. Last but not least, uh, for the Studio Pro, it received simple, uh, some uh, features and updates too. Like for example, simplified orchestrator experience for deployments of all sizes, uh, support for automating a leading desktop as a service solutions like AWS workspaces and Windows virtual desktop, and new customer portal for admin self service. The next tool uh, in the build pillar is the document understanding tool. So a document understanding tool is, uh, is a tool that extracts info from, a, from any document uh, on your machine, uh, whether it's structured, semi-structured or uh, unstructured uh, documents. Extractions of uh, the information in any document includes uh, handwritten data and checkboxes. In the 21.4 release, uh, UiPath improved the document uh, OCR, uh, OCR extra, uh, accuracy in detecting uh, many languages, including non-Latin uh, characters uh, like Arabic and Hebrew. It now improved the machine learning based document classification, uh, and it is now uh, the machine learning based document classification is now uh, on premise as well as on cloud. Uh, UiPath also added out of the box machine learning models that can be used directly uh, for more markets and preview models for contracts, IDs, and passports. So that was for the build pillar. Now I will hand over to my colleague Joseph to uh, to uh, tackle the, uh, the other three pillars, the manage, run, and engage. So go on, uh, Joseph. You have. Uh, thanks, thanks Khaled. Um, hello, everyone. So, anyone have any questions about the previous part? All right. So, we will have um, some time after the presentation to answer all of your questions if you have it. Uh, so, the next pillar is manage. Um, and we will start with the orchestrator. Uh, so orchestrator, as we all know, is the heart of your automation management. Uh, it gives you the power provision uh, and deploy, trigger, monitor, measure, track, um, and ensure the security uh, of every robot in your organization. So now you can manage everything from the browser or mobile device. Um, Starting today, uh, it becomes possible to share assets, queues, storage, uh, buckets, and action catalogs between a uh, folder directly and from the orchestrator. Um, sharing resources between folders enable launching jobs uh, in multiple uh, folders and um, when the uh, underlying uh, a process are targeting the same resource without having uh, redesigned your workflow in Studio. Uh, launching uh, jobs from Orchestrator has been overhauled uh, 
to showcase the new capabilities provided by the user machine mapping feature. In this release as well, UiPath uh, added support for multiple entry uh, points in RPA. Uh, broadly, this feature enables you to create and configure uh, your processes in Studio uh, with uh, different um, the sharing done right now. Can you see the presentation? No, we, we lost the presentation. Can I do the please uh, the chat again? All right. Yeah, I can see it. All right. Um, so, uh, as uh, as I was saying, um, that um, this feature enables you to create and configure uh, your processes in Studio with different entry points than the usual uh, main.xaml uh, to this end. Um, a new entry point field is added um, in Orchestrator, which enables you to specify a particular uh, for your workflow, as long as um, multiple uh, have been defined in a studio. So in um, 21.4 release as well, um, your non UiPath applications, uh, we call this external applications, can now um, OAuth uh, 2.0 authorization framework to access your um, UiPath resources over API. This way you can share access without also sharing credentials. Um, in this release as well, we have now enhanced robot and licensing uh, view. So next we have uh, AI Center. Um, AI Center provides AI uh, capabilities uh, for everyone uh, working in the automation field uh, to use machine learning models. You can retrain the machine learning models and provide the provided to uh, active um, developers. It bridges the gap between data scientists and the RPA developers, uh, all in central uh, place. Uh, in this release, we have now uh, two new machine learning models, uh, which is time series and text classifications. Um, we have automatic retraining, which enables the customer to export data from uh, document understanding, retrain that machine learning model automatically with the, uh, with the data, and then deploy the new machine learning model scalp. In this release as well, uh, it is now easier to back up and restore your entire AI center cluster. This allows you to make uh, a disaster recovery strategy, you know, and to move uh, to bigger machines or clusters if needed. Actually, one important feature um, is the last one. Uh, in order to save licenses, uh, if machine learning skills is not active, you can actually undeploy it. So let's move to um, the test manager. UiPath uh, test manager is the web application that allows you to easily manage uh, your testing uh, process by addressing the following uh, function areas uh, assigning Automation from Studio Pro uh, to test cases or uh, assign test cases uh, to requirements, dashboards to get a quick overview uh, of your test results. So now we have um, the user experience improved. Um, you can as well now connect, connect uh, your application's life management directly uh, to the dev with the DevOps uh, toolchain 
um, with the test manager. Um, and now you have the ability to add custom fields and labels uh, to the reports uh, that are being generated. Uh, the next um, tool we have is the data service. This is uh, a service which been made available um, in the uh, 20.10 release. Basically, data service enables organizations to create and, and to start the business data uh, in, centralized, in a centralized way. And it is also made uh, available for different products um, that can connect to the data service in order to create, store, and retrieve the information from the uh, from this data. Uh, it is a service that only available on on cloud, but in uh, twenty one point four, um, it is now um, open API endpoints so you can now manage the data from external applications and uh, you have field uh, and record uh, permissions moving on to insights uh, insight is uh, an rpa analytics uh, solution that enables your business to track measure and manage uh, performance of your entire automation program. It was available only on-prem. Um, now in uh, 21.4, uh, it is available on cloud uh, as well. And now you can uh, have dynamic dashboards. You can uh, have smart pillars. For example, you can now um, have an alert when specific goals or threshold uh, are met and those notifications come up on the screen. Um, for the reports, um, they are now shareable. You can send them via email or save them as an image to use them in a presentation, for example. So let's move. Um, Let's move on um, to the run part or pillar. This is actually an interesting part because now a lot of scenarios are covered in this uh, for robots, this part. We have automation cloud robots, which is new. Um, we have uh, the elastic robot uh, orchestration and um, the public cloud self-managed and the premises or private cloud. So let's take them one by one and start with the uh, elastic robot next. <clears throat> um, you can now um, provision and scale robot uh, virtual machine in your public cloud. And this is all done by UiPath in order to scale up your uh, Azure or AWS. The next one is the uh, automation cloud robots. Uh, these robots are provisioned, managed, and scaled as needed directly on UiPath platform. Uh, no infrastructure is required, um, and you don't have to have any subscription or any public cloud like Azure or AWS. So let's move um, on the uh, last part, engage pillar. There's a lot of um, tools uh, you have, uh, UiPath have created to support and um, um, and they are offers a lot of capabilities for different scenarios. The first, the first one is UiPath apps. Uh, it is basically uh, a web-based uh, local application as you know um, that enables uh, everyone um, to create and deploy enterprise application 
so you can create dashboards, you can create interfaces um, with all the user interface uh, elements. As you can see right now, uh, the user interface. Um, uh, so um, with all the interface elements, you can connect to different API, so you can display data, you can display images and so on, as you can see uh, from this interesting uh, contact center application. And let's move on to the uh, next one, which is the assistant. We have the complete uh, capability um, from using the assistant uh, um, for the unattended robots that will actually work independent, independently and only check with the uh, whenever validations, questions or exceptions needed. And there are um, the attended robots as well, which work under your supervision. Uh, these are powered by the UiPath Assistant interface where you can actually schedule, uh, get access to different automation available to you. And it is one of the core products um, that set of the uh, foundation for um, citizen developer. Um, in this release, uh, you can now have uh, easier access to UiPath apps. You can as well pin automations to the desktop. Um, you can quickly create keyboards, uh, shortcuts uh, for the process details section. And now you can drag and drop automations to uh, personal folders. The next one is the uh, Action Center, which offers the um, uh, a way uh, for business users to handle uh, actionable uh, items and provide business inputs to robots. It enables um, support for long running unattended workflows that require hum human intervention as um, workflow execution. It's uh, fragmented and, uh, and can be um, suspended and um, resumed at later time after human input is provided. Um, uh, in the Action Center uh, right now, um, uh, Azure Apps uh, Service uh, installation support, we have now uh, support for it. Uh, more, we have more uh, action specific activities, uh, sample templates for the reform work and the orchestration process. We have multi user handling of action or uh, forward actions with the uh, comments. Um, we have action history, um, ability to add comments, delayed invalid actions, and so on. Uh, the last but not least is uh, the chatbot integration. Um, we have now a new user experience uh, aligned with the uh, UiPath standards. Uh, further integrations with the UiPath products. We have now live chat, multi uh, and multi chat, Amazon Connect integration, and so on. So uh, let's move to um, a very uh, important part uh, we have today um, to introduce the Angra Micro Professional. Uh, services. Uh, Ingram Micro offers uh, a compre comprehensive range of RPA professional services. Um, whether you are starting on your process automation journey, you have completed already a proof of concept pilot or have uh, a commenced an imp uh, implementation program, Ingram Micro will bring a wealth uh, of shared uh, uh, ex experiences proven implementation track record and flexible approach uh, to uh, our partnership with you. Um, 
we have uh, matter experts in um, various, uh, uh, various uh, fields like banking, insurance, uh, healthcare, uh, manufacturing, and we are offering um, um, services like RPA process uh, review. We can review a single functional uh, team or department for RPA uh, suitability, uh, identify process uh, suitable for RPA automation, uh, solution proposed uh, um, and technical documentation. And we can have as well implementation. Um, uh, we can offer RPA scalab scalability assessment. Um, like uh, reviewing a functional team department or, uh, or department with the uh, existing uh, RPA investment. Uh, we can qualify the ROI gaps uh, from existing automation process. Uh, we can offer a um, solution proposal for increasing the value from uh, additional RPA investment. Um, and um, last but not least uh, RPA implementation uh, we are offering a remote site implementation of new RPA processes um, developed by Engram Micro. Um, we can um, we can offer infrastructure uh, intro uh, um, probability uh, assessments uh, testing and validations reporting and uh, recommendations. So um, this is what we are offering um, as um, an R for our RPA professional services. Uh, you can reach out from this email as you can see on the screen. And now it's uh, it's time for questions. You can ask questions if you have any questions.